And as if hurricanes aren't bad enough, we often see tornadoes spawned by these storms. And last week, we saw an extraordinary amount of tornado warnings issued with Hurricane Burl. What factors led to this record amount of tornadic activity with last week's hurricane? Take a listen. 19 years ago today, Category 5 Hurricane Emily set the record as the earliest Category 5 hurricane. Last week, Hurricane Burl broke that record with winds reaching 165 miles per hour before spawning a record number of tornado warnings as it moved through Texas. Tropical cyclones often generate tornadoes as they move inland, but what led to this unusual amount of tornadic activity associated with Hurricane Barrel? Let's get weather smart. When tropical cyclones move inland, friction from trees and buildings weaken winds at the surface. This increases the risk of tornadoes by enhancing wind shear, a key ingredient for tornado development. In Burrell's case, an unusual dip in the jet stream for this time of the year steered Burrell north through Texas, enhancing vertical wind shear by creating a larger difference between surface wind speeds and wind speeds thousands of feet overhead. A more favorable environment for tornadoes set up as a result, impacting areas from southeastern Texas all the way to the northeastern parts of the country. The threat for tornadoes with tropical systems is something we all should be prepared for as we enter what could be a hyperactive hurricane season. Hurricane forecasters have increased their storm predictions for the season, and although it's impossible to determine whether another storm will impact the Texas coastline, Hurricane Barrel showed us that it is important to have a plan in place for every risk that a storm poses, including tornadoes. The most important thing to do during a tornado warning is to put as many walls between you and outside as possible. The safest place is the centralmost portion of your home. Having a plan for you and your family will help ensure you are prepared for our next weather event. In the Weather Center, meteorologist Jeremiah Stewart, 12 News. And right now, things are quiet out in the tropics. We don't see anything popping up over the next seven days. What we do see popping up is this big tail feather here on our camera. Oh, my gosh. It's gone now, but been watching. There it is. That bird's been sitting up there for the last half an hour or so, kind of flying back and forth. So.